You're addicted, I told you. I'm not addicted. Okay, then, then what are you doing? I'm checking my email. Uh, on your pregnancy blog. Still getting slagged? Well, it's about 50-50 now. Yeah, how many hits you got? 712. Hmm. Got 1150. A liar! I'm telling you, and they're actually quite positive. Maybe it's because I'm blogging from Jake's, or maybe it's just because I'm such a fun guy. Right. Elizabeth, could you please check Patrick's blog for me? Because, you know, I'm not supposed to. I think he's exaggerating uh, just a little bit. No, I am not getting in the middle of the two of you in person or in cyberspace. Hmm. Dr. Scorpio. Been a while. Curtis. Looks like you didn't need my daughter after all. You remember Curtis, don't you? Yes. Father of Stacy's baby? Very well. How is Rebecca doing? My daughter's in good health, doing as well as can be expected after this hospital killed her mother. Look, Curtis, I understand why you're upset before Stacy had just died, but there's no excuse for treating Dr. Scorpio like that. She tried to steal my kid. Show some respect or you can leave. I get it. You're the dad. You don't know what you're in for. Um, Mr. Reitzel, you're welcome to wait in Dr. Ford's office. You better have that insurance settlement check ready. Hedge fund market a little slow lately. Rebecca has a trust fund. Hmm. Do you have one in place for your child? I mean, given that you're HIV positive, like Stacy was. HIV had nothing to do with Stacy's death. You better be ready regardless. She dies, it's on you to raise the kid. Tell Patrick that I'm crying. He'll flip out and overcompensate and anyway, I'm being ridiculous. No, not at all. That guy was creepy. I mean, I know better than anyone. I, I, I'm, I'm a doctor. I know that Stacy didn't die because of HIV. She bled out because she had an abrupted placenta. And I also know that HIV doesn't really cause any problems when you're pregnant as long as you take care of yourself. But then I also think about Stacy and everything that she wanted to give her child and everything that that little girl is gonna miss, you know? And it just makes me feel really selfish. Why well, does you wanna be a mom? You know that every pregnancy involves risks. But HIV is a chronic and potentially life-threatening disease. You know, I, I could develop complications at any time. Oh, don't even talk like that. What if I die of AIDS? Or what if I die of something else? And my child's alone. I don't want that to happen. Being a single mom is like walking a tightrope move carefully one step at a time and if you start to lose your balance you find your way again and then you just keep on going unless you fall no no you never fall you never fall because you never ever look down you don't let yourself think all those terrible thoughts because then you will scare yourself into not seeing all the good things like the first time Cameron told me that he wanted to be a doctor <laughs> or the first time Jake picked up his little sippy cup all by himself See, that's the life that I want to have with my child. I, I want to be able to appreciate all the little things. Well, then stop doing this. Stop scaring yourself. It's a waste of time and energy. And you're right, you're right. I guess I need to, uh, have a will. <laughs> oh, wow. So much for positive thinking. Okay, yeah, you should. They're not that hard to come up with. Yeah, I should, and I should think about who I would want to raise my child if something were to happen to me. My mom's life isn't really set up for it, and mm -hmm. I'm not so sure it'd be fair to ask Uncle Mac to raise yet another generation. What about Patrick? He is a father. Patrick never wanted to be a father in the first place. <laughs> 